Hello everyone, welcome to study tonight. In this video, we will learn about keywords and identifiers in C language. So we'll start with it. The first topic that we are going to discuss is the tokens. What are tokens? Tokens in C are basically defined as the smallest individual element in C. And we have already seen an example of that, that uh, even the single coma or a single braces is also a token. The smallest individual uh, unit is the token. And these are the basic building blocks of creating a program. Now it is also classified into the following categories, which are discussed here. That is keywords, identifiers, consonants, string literals, and special symbols and other operators. So in this uh, tutorial, we will learn about keywords and identifiers. Now, what are the keywords? Keywords are the preserved words that have some special meaning in the C language. And the meaning of C language, that is a special meaning of C language, which we are talking about, is already being described in the C compiler. So now these meanings cannot be changed. We cannot do anything with the meaning, which is uh, uh, described in the compiler. Thus, these keywords cannot be used as variable names because that would try to change the existing meaning of the keyword, which is not allowed. And there are some 32 uh, keywords in the C language. We will see these 32 keywords in this video only. Now, one example is given here that is int marks. Now the int, which is describing the type of variable we are taking, that is a marks, uh, that means it is of integer type marks are of integer type so int here cannot be changed it cannot be capitalized it cannot be in upper case upper case and we cannot change its definition in the c program so that's why it is the reserved word we will use it as it is written wherever we want to use it now these are 32 keywords in the c language uh, auto break case const care, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, for, go to, if, int, long, register, return, short, sign, size of, static, struct, uh, switch, type diff, union, unsigned, volatile, void, and while. These are the keywords. These have uh, different, different meanings according to their names. We'll discuss it later on. Now we will see some of the words we have already keywords we have already used that can be int and we have used a void void we can use with any function. Now we can use a break to uh, break from any loop. There is uh, we will use uh, some of these keywords in our programs also. And now there are uh, some points which we'll discuss a keyword name cannot be used as variable name. As it is a reserved word, keywords must be written in lowercase. Now, it also specifies the type or kind of entity. Basically, suppose if you are taking end, so that will define that it is a type of integer. So, identifiers which we are taking with the name end, that will be uh, with the uh, keyword end, that will be of integer type. If you are taking float, that will de uh, describe that it is a decimal type of uh, variable decimal it contains decimal value then we can take care also double also long unsigned and any of these so these can also describe the kind of entity basically the identifiers now what are c identifiers actually any text which is used to identify any entity it can be variable also it can be constant function or anyone so in uh, that is called an identifier in C language identifies the names given to variables, constant functions and user defined data. Now these identifiers are defined against a set of rules. We'll see the rules. What are these rules? How these are defined? Now these are some rules of identify rules for an identifiers. How we will define a identifier now an identifier can uh, only have an alphanumeric characters what are these alphanumeric characters these are from uh, small uh, lowercase a to z that can be a b c d uh, 
up to Z and then uppercase A to Z letters and then 0 to 9 numbers and under underscore. Now, the first character of an identifier can only contain alphabet. That should not be any number. It can also contain underscore, but that should not be a number. Identifiers are also case sensitive. That means they cannot be uh, used. Uh, like if we have written some uh, name in the, suppose we have described a variable number and we have written in the lower case letter. Then again, we are using this uh, variable in our program and we are a type, uh, we are writing it with the uppercase letters. So these two will have different meanings. So name and name are two different identifiers in C. Now, keywords are not allowed to be used as identifiers. Then no special characters such as semicolon, period, white space, slash, or comma. Any special character except underscore are not permitted to be used in, as an identifier. Now, when we declare a variable or any function in C language program, to use it, we must provide a name to it, which identified it through, uh, throughout the program. For example, suppose if we are storing any value in a variable, then we will must uh, we must give that uh, name to that location. So that location will uh, will be identified that by that name. So we have given study tonight that is a string, and we have given it a name that is my variable in the and that is of integer type here my variable is the name or identifier for the variable which stores the value study tonight in it now there are some examples of valid and invalid identifiers see total average one difference one all are starting with the lower case letter so that is not a problem these are valid then int care these are reserved words so cannot be valid identifier X plus Y plus is a special symbol, so it can also uh, it cannot be used as a uh, identifier. So it is also invalid. Then examples of keywords and identi identifiers. Int is a keyword. Money is an identifier. Then again, double is a keyword and salary is an identifier. Now, what is a character set? In C language, characters are grouped into the following categories. These are uh, letters, digits, and special characters. We have already seen these uh, and the white spaces. So these all are the characters set. Now with this, we have come to the end of this topic. So uh, for so more such informative videos covering C language, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like this video and give thumbs up. If you want to read more about the topic, you can visit our uh, website. And you can uh, you will find the link in the description below. You can also revise this topic by giving test if you are preparing for any exam or interview. Then you will find the link for the test in the description uh, also. Now, thank you so much.